What's up, guys? Um, well, I just got cleaning my Kawasaki, and I figured I'd do an overlook on it. I haven't done a video on this bike yet. Haven't over, over, uploaded any up, GoPro footage from it. Uh, I just got finished cleaning it. So, it's still a little dirty, but it was really muddy from when I cleaned it. Like, when I mean really muddy, I mean really muddy. Like, I didn't make one lap from, I have like a little, like kind of kind of like a little track that I ride in my, in my house. And I got the, around the first corner, she, the front end pass, no, the rear end pass. Man, that's how bad it was. So, I figured I'd do an overlook on it. So, um, there you go. There you go, guys. And I put... I put the number plates on it, my my number and stuff. And I really like that. I really do. Uh, I only had this bike for probably about six months, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm already looking at two fifty because my height I'm like five seven five eight. I'm just I just kind of wanna. I'm just looking at more power. Like I've I've ridden this pretty not hard. But I've I've ridden it a lot when I can. Um, she she has power. Um, she, it's faster than my Kodiak, which I don't I don't know how, but it is compared to having that full throttle than having this wide open. So it's kind of I, I like the powered highs, but I'm kind of looking up to get back in uh, riding. I used to ride motocross with my mom. My mom passed, and I got out of it. And I told my dad I want to get back into it. He said, all right, but I don't want you on a race bike like you used to have just because you haven't been on a bike in like four or five years. So I was like, I was like, all right, I was kind of mad, but I was like, it's whatever. And he was like, he was like, after this, then you can look at a 250 because I wanted a CRF 150R. So I didn't really, really went too bad. Um. There's there's stuff I like about it, and stuff I dislike about it. Um, tires, good traction and stuff. Um, it's not the best, but it's 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 a it's a recreational bike. It's nothing fancy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has a hydraulic clutch. It's got electric start. Let's try and start it. The idle's a little low on it, which I don't know why. I'm trying to turn off. All right, guys, I got to run it. I got to shut off. Am I not? Hold on. Yeah, shut off. It's whatever. She's cold. She had been starting probably about a month. I started it before I cleaned it, just let it auto. And my dad took it up the driveway. And uh, he tipped it over because he, he, he tried to turn and he didn't pull the clutch in and it just stalled on me fell over my stepmom got really mad at him it was pretty funny though um i think it has a hydraulic clutch hydraulic clutch is really nice um shifting wise it's not it's it's it's, it's a fun bike uh i put these on myself um it was a little hard y'all can comment and see yeah if y'all think i did bad or good oh that's a bubble Lord, whatever it took me like this one though this this side sucked if you can see the crinkle i tried to cut it and kind of melt it well, not really melt it but put it back because i it took me over two hours just to get it going i couldn't i was like whatever i'm gonna keep it on there um i got it done by fusion graphics which you can go check them out they do really nice work i this is the second set i've had from them and i love them um, I'm going to talk about the suspension a little bit. The suspension on it is not too bad. Um, like, I'm a little, I'm a heavier rider. Like, I'm not really, I'm not too heavy, but, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little heavy rider. It does all right, but it's, you can tell when you ride, it's not set for my weight, especially the forks. The front forks, it's, it's, it's kind of like steel rods. Well, not steel rods, but in my weight, it's like steel rods when you hit something. Um, brakes. I use. I don't know why I use the front brakes so much, but I does. But I do. Um, look at the motor. 
Um, I think the the um, the sh the single shock back here that is a uh, that's adjustable. Um, it's the gas on and off reserve. Um, I got the rent up bar pad for Christmas. I put that on. Um, but I'm hopefully soon, probably next month or two, I might I might get a 250. I really like the 18 Hondas. And so I've been looking at those. I've been looking at the 18 250 Cowies. Might as well. I don't know if I want to. Should I stick with Cowie? Should I go with Honda? I really looked at the Yamahas, but I don't, I don't really like the Yamahas. I like I like my Yamaha quad, but I don't know. I'm not, the Yamaha sit really tall, and I really don't like that, but I'm wearing a Yamaha racing hoodie right now. I, the only reason I got this because of Kodiak. But. All right, guys, I think that's just about it for the review. On, well, not a review, but an overlook. My 2017 Kelex 140G. Um, I'll probably do some GoPro footage on this in the future. Right now, it's really wet, and I, I haven't been on a ride in like a month. So it's kind of killing me. Last time I rode was at Bosco Beach. I seen my last video of my dad's general. He just got that. So I'm going to put this away. Just had to fix the front number plate because it wasn't in the little slot. So it was sliding. Um, all right, guys. That's, that's it today. Uh, hopefully, I'll get another video up soon.